Hey guys, it's Jeff with Rising Tide Plumbing where I'm dedicated to teaching you all about plumbing four minutes at a time. Today we're going to be looking at the drain line layout for a standard three fixture bathroom group, a toilet, lavatory, and a shower. We're going to be doing this through a wet vent. So if you haven't seen my video on the basics of venting and plumbing in four minutes, check that out. That'll make this video make a lot more sense. At the end of this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most controversial things that we deal with in plumbing. Everybody's got an opinion on it, so stick around. We'll talk about that at the end. Let's get started. All right, when I lay out these bathrooms, I always start with the toilet and work everything else around them. Here's the toilet flange. Make sure when you set your toilet flange, you give yourself them 12 inches from the center of the flange to the finished wall behind it. Make sure you give yourself 15 inches at least on each side to give yourself clearance per code. The minimum size line going to a toilet is a three inch line, which, is we, which we have here. If your distance between the top of the floor flange and the center line of your pipe on the horizontal branch leaving it is more than 12 inches, you have to use a long sweep. It can't be a 90 like I have here. So 12 inches is key there. On the three inch line and larger, the minimum fall or minimum pitch you got to have to put on these lines is eighth inch per foot. I usually bump it up just a little bit, but the minimum is eighth inch per foot on a three inch line. So there's the toilet. All right, so we get down to here where the three by two Y is cut in right here. And this is what receives the waste from the vanity or the lavatory and or tub or tub and shower. Make sure that you come off of this one time and get both of these. This is what allows all these fixtures to be vented. Again, go back and watch that other video I was telling you about. That'll make that make more sense. But this is a two inch minimum here because we're using it as a wet vent. I don't use a lot of inch and a half pipe on drain lines. I, I use that where it comes in on the vent lines. The minimum grade on these two inch lines is quarter inch or better. Minimum is a quarter inch. I Like I said, I usually bump it up just a little bit, but like I said, minimum is a quarter inch. The other thing we have to watch out for is the amount of turns we put in these lines. Here in North Carolina, they give us four horizontal turns before we need a way to clean out that line. A horizontal turn is considered a 45 degree turn. So I can have four of these or two of these before I need a way to clean out that line. So in a sense on this line, I come down, this doesn't count because this is a vertical to horizontal. That's not a horizontal turn. This is, it's two turns or a 90 degree come into this and that is counted as two turns. So keep a watch out for that when you're laying your uh, fittings out. The other thing you have to keep in mind is the distance of your trap arm. A trap arm is the distance from a P-trap like we have here to where the fixture actually gets its air, which is vented right here because it, it right at this junction, it receives air through the wet vent right here. This distance right here might be, I don't know, eight, 12 inches right here. On a two inch trap arm, you can go eight feet. This line can't be longer than eight feet. On a three inch trap arm, it can't be longer than 12 feet. So this distance from here where it starts getting its air can't be more than 12 feet. In this video, we're talking more about drain lines and how to lay it out. But one thing I wanted to touch on was where the dry vent starts right here off of the lavatory where it goes up through the roof or an air admittance valve. The best way to size this line out is to consider it to be half the size of the drain you're serving. So ultimately, we're serving a three inch drain here on the toilet. So this line has to be inch and a half or greater, but the minimum is inch and a half. So it's half the size of the drain you're serving. All right, guys, well, thanks for checking out the video. If it helped, like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other video ideas of things that would help you. And as promised, talking about the controversial item, it is air admittance valves. Everybody's got an opinion on them. Some people like them, some people hate them, some people call them cheater valves, studer valves, stupid valves. Next video I make, I'm going to talk about where you can use them, where you can't, where I stand on them. All right, guys, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, it's Jeff with Rising Tide Plumbing, where I'm dedicated to teaching you all aspects of plumbing. Plumbing. <laughs> I said plumbing. <laughs>